Welcome everyone, if we're Ed Gaming Gear, another extended episode with more of Zero Blade Chronicles 3 on V Nintendo Switch, and welcome to it. So last time, because we just uh, got out of the ATL region, somewhere at the, the um, at the Air Force Sea where we uh, last uh, pick off, I mean, turns out that uh, we just uh, stumbled along a trail just to continue on, on the, uh, the Nesta colony to whatever we face on. So we had, so it's a scene like that we were, we were taking on Mio's sub side story for now, because um, it uh, turns out because there's uh, a little bit more to the going on around here because you can see how amazing these uh, mechanics are looking here. This uh, whole brand new model of whatever we're looking at here because uh, it looks kind of decent. I, I can't go wrong with that. I mean, it looks amazing to, to see how good this um, this whole world is uh, is like is shipping up there at the tables around here because just to the looking at it because I can uh, take a clear image just to the look at it real closely. To imagine how how good these uh, these these uh, mechanics of this uh, this sharp pointing rock that we're looking at on top of it because it does quite uh, amaze me actually because uh, we're just uh, looking at here is uh, all of these beautiful world of this uh, whole dynamic going on around here in every other system but uh, it, it turns out that uh, we yeah so we're here now and the uh, Capricorn Peak is uh, where we are and we're somewhere at the Shang Road. So uh, I want to go ahead and check in with the uh, trade upon. So I really think that we should go ahead and purchase some few things. So we're getting here is on some brand new, brand new stuff here, which is available. So what we got going on here is the thermal headgear, which increased our critical rate by 15 percentage points. So what we got here is the other uh, surgeon headband, the stripe band gold, the, the tactical glove, the storm necklace. The the Emma the Emaculate necklace, the hyper protector, the metal the metallic knee guard, the champion rain, the phantom feather. I mean, we got here is um a lot a lot of option. So there's a, a lot of option we we go over. So I reckon that we start off somewhere. Okay, where can we start? Okay, but you know what? I reckon that we go and try out the uh, the storm necklace. That's something that. Uni or Mio should go equip for that accessory. So I feel we're gonna. So we just did purchase at least two of them, just for the road. And we'll definitely need one of this uh, immaculate, uh, immaculate. Okay, so this is uh, this is something called the immaculate necklace. Okay, so let's go purchase just only one, and the one called the thermal headgear. So yeah, so we'll take one of those. So we're gonna take as many as we like. We'll take the surgeon headband. And I think that's about all. Alright, so I think we're ready to go and set out. So let's go ahead and skip the event. And let's go to the other menu and try out. So we're gonna go to characters. Check in with accessories. So we're gonna check in with a uni for not uni, a Mio. So we're gonna check in with her. And you know what? We can get rid of the be a survivor knee guard. We won't be learning that anytime soon. But you know what we can start on by learning here is the one that's called the Immaculate Necklace. So that's something that Mio should should hold on to for that accessory. So it says the boost the amount of AP heal from using the healing also by 20%. True, very true. So we can equip by only one and check it in with Uni. So, it's a scene like that she held here is the one that's called the Circlet of Wisdom. So let's remove that. And you know what, we can start off the one that's called the uh, Storm Necklace. So we can get one of uh, one of that instead of using the uh, Circlet of Wisdom. Okay, so the, the uh, Silver Earring will stay on. Okay, and I think we're all set here, so now wait a minute. Now let's just uh, hold our horses here. Alright, well, is it seem like that Tyon is good to go? And for Lance. Okay, Lance, it's, it's time for you to. It's time for you to get that strong. So, what else can I get you, my guy? But wait a minute, we had to the Brown Choker somewhere, but. Oh, you know what? That go and increase it be on the smash resistant, but less by 25% points. 
Okay, well, 25 percentage points is close enough. Close enough. Okay, but we already have here is the one that's called the Despite Paul John, which can go in boost mad damage by 55 percent. But you know, I reckon that we will move that. Now we want to get a get something strong. So, how about? Now wait a minute. Is there a, a bronze conquer chunker somewhere? Oh, oh, choker. Okay, I, I say choker. What the heck I'm saying? <laughs> how embarrassing. Okay, so it's a bronze choker. So that go ahead and increase the the smad resistance by less but 25 percentage points. Okay, well let's go get that. Okay, well that looks to be like a new accessory that that Lance should hold on to. Now Lola and Senna is good to go, so we don't have to do anything for for Senna right now. So you know what? Now let's double check with that Senna just to be sure. Okay, now we do got the one that's called the Firma Headgear. So that go increase the, uh, the critical rate by 15. So let's go get that. So we're gonna need more of this critical rate going. And look to me, cut the wall set here. So um, let's just check in with some new clothes. So what we got going on here? Okay, that's new. But damn, you get the lone S style. Awesome. All right, that looks sick. I love it. So let's have that. Let's equip that. Okay, as well, some of these clothes we won't be worrying about right now. Okay, so let's uh, check in with uh, Lance Swimwear A. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, that looks that looks pretty cool. I love it. I well, I, I'm not going to equip that, but it will stay on. So everyone is wearing the so Tyler and Santa were the only one that had the long exile outfit. Okay, so look like Tamika Uni is good to go now. All right, checking in with Mio. So let's see what her swimwear is supposed to look like. Okay. Okay, well that seemed kind of girlish in Mio swimwear gear. All right, and take a look at for Noah. Okay, so Noah is on swimwear A. Okay, well he got the nice chunks. I love it. That's a pretty good detail. So now we get here at the swimwear B, which is on blue color. And dang, we get the wait a minute. So we get the uh, Naponic champion. Dang, okay. That looks sick. You know what? We should put that. We should equip that. I I, I just love the. Uh, I I could tell that there would be a design because Noah looked pretty sick in a Naponic champion gear. I love it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think what I said here. So we we are saving up SP. So we're not going to. To go to the internet if we don't want to, just so that we can go and upgrade the um, the soul tree. But uh, we're, we're gonna keep on making the most of it by saving as a mini SP that we can that we can increase. Yeah, because we got a little bit long way to train, so we're half good to go now. So uh, let's get right on to to uh, to this campfire over here. So I think there is another bit of info that we gotta go over. So if we go ahead and settle down at the campfire. Okay, so what we got going on here? So we got here is a uh, cook. Yeah, let's go do some cook. So what we got going on here? So we got here is uh, so many options to choose. Okay, so uh, we got here is the fluff, the the fluff, the fluff sled. Oh, it's kerfluffle. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's a kerfluffle torpedo wrap. Okay. Now what we're looking at here for meal effect. So the enemy gold booster uh, in increase a little by ten percent. Enemy drop boost. Decrease it a little bit by 5%. Okay, so if there's anything less good. Okay, but you know what? We should probably go and get one of this uh, brisky, breezy, toasty. Because uh, we want to go and get the collectible boost back and uh, go and boost up by 50%. So we only got enough but the 69 non pound coin to go wasting one to. To go and cook up a, a fine meal. So it's the, the, the brisky breeze toasty that we cook up. So we're gonna check it with craft gems to see what's available. Okay, so we got here the one that's called a tailwind free, increasing agility by 
Um, okay, well, technically we do have enough material to go in and craft that, but don't we... But wait a minute, now, one of its, uh, one of its uh, material is missing. Well, I can't tell wrong, cause, cause that's something missing I, I couldn't describe of what the uh, next material we, we seek out are missing, so... Now that's something we we won't bother uh, knowing what the the, the next the next uh, recipe to go and and craft one of its uh, game to go and make a, a tailwind free. So uh, I reckon that we go ahead and start off somewhere somewhere where it says a uh, steel cleaver free, I guess. Yeah, but it turns out that uh, we don't quite actually get enough of these of these game movies at least. Okay, but we're not technically collecting enough gold. Okay, well let's just leave the other crap game. We're, we're not technically getting that, uh, getting enough of old materials lately. So uh, let's uh, try out level up. So now, what do we want to go and level a team? Okay, so you know what? Let's uh, hold up by leveling up all the characters. Okay, so we get them up to the speed of level seventy-one. So you know what? We're gonna keep. Level 69 for now. Okay, so let's go over with the discuss. And this is a, a new base of this uh, topic uh, where we go and discuss something about snow. It's best we talk this through. Snow's so pretty. I love it so much. Yeah, I know. It's a coin that it can free the, your ass off. And give me a, a sunny beach any day. Really? I much prefer that to be able to heat myself. Yeah, because you hate the nice thing that in it, that remember when you were all F, uh, it's uh, so hard that I'm gonna melt it into a pancake? I said no such thing. Oh yeah? I di distantly uh, remember it, and no more someone uh, kill me now. I did not. Um, oh that's, uh, the r oh, that's right, that now I remember. Uh, when you're feeling colder, you had to try and move your body. Nope, uh, uh no way. I already had gone on the uh, defensive and uh, gonna stay bundled up, thanks. Come on, just uh, shout yourself warm. Yeah, right, and I suppose the meal could have just uh, yelled herself a uh, cool, huh? I just struggled with the heat, alright? Honesty, a uh, virtue, love. I'll never hear it at the end of this, will I? Uh, Noah? What's uh, this all about? Beats me. Okay. Well, that. Doesn't beat the um the, the life out of everyone else, but uh, it turns out because uh, we just uh, keep hundred of spin points, and now we get to the rest up and begin the next progress of the main story. Time out. We'll head out in a bit. Mio, can you tell us more about Colony Omega? I've had glimpses when we interlink, but what does it all mean? Right. I'll try. Senna, is that okay? May I? Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. You can tell them. Five years ago, the three of us were foot soldiers in Colony Theta. One day with no reason given, we were transferred to Colony Omega. We didn't fight. Rather, we were subject to daily examinations for no clear reason. Then one day, there was a... an accident.
Mio, take this. I'm giving you my whole self. So please, live life in my stead. Miabi. Thank you. for myself. I'll leave my mark on others and the world. This lifetime that Miyabi gave to me, I'll use it well. Regret all you want, but the past can never be changed. But you can change who you are in the present. If I was stronger then, like now, I might have been able to save everyone. Is it wrong to think that? Not at all. I feel you. I know I wish I'd been stronger back then. So yeah, I want to go back there with that in mind. And now I have the chance. Mio, what kind of colony is this Omega? I never even knew it existed. Yeah, our side didn't know about it either. We've got, what, 23 Acnean colonies in all? They got up to Psy. Good intel. Hey now, don't go lumping me in with Lance. I took my education seriously. Ah, shut up. Don't flatter yourself. Colony Omega was an independent entity. It never engaged. The name it used was Agnian, but even that wasn't the whole truth. Omega's administrator was the Mobius Y. He was performing some kind of experiment there using us as guinea pigs. I don't know what he was doing. M wasn't briefed on it either. All I can remember is that oddly glowing violet flame clock. A colony that doesn't fight. Never knew that was even a thing. Why has restored it now? Colony Omega, I mean. You know this from M? Senna, anything to add? I don't really know much about it. The accident happened... pretty soon after we were moved. I see. Omega's existence, the tests, it was all why. That's just the Mobius he is. Do share. Mimi, 
Remember? Didn't we see the same color on Ethel and Camaravi's Veronises? I could be wrong. No, you're spot on. Good call, Senna. I didn't think of that at all. Really? Ethel and Kamaravi had their lives taken. And in that accident, so were the whole colonies. Most likely, Y was running experiments that could potentially prove fatal to her soldiers. And now that the colony's back, you're thinking Miyabi's still in there. Yeah. That's why I have to go. To end this. He's toys with our lives as he pleases for long enough. Exactly. I'm with you. Let me go too. We're all going, I thought. Right? Yeah. Obviously. Let's go, Mio. To Colony Omega. Everyone, thank you. This time, I'll do the saving. The brilliant doth please. For ceaseless eons, we Mobius have a bitten a pace with this world. Yet with drawn out abiding, many lost sight of the fifth thereof, dissipating slowly as doth the world. The brilliance of life is exigent, more dazzling than now, if we wish to save the world. Okay then. Well, technically, we just um watched this out for long cutscene. Well, that felt kind of sound that way. But now this is since this is a Mio side story, I I will gladly switch on playing with her. So yeah, well, let's just get to know better playing with her for the very once in a while. Cause I, I know it's because that she could be a pretty good of uh, healing the and the rest of the full party and all. And uh, turns out that, that she holds uh, the best uh, weapon in, in, uh, in every other mechanic of the game. Here, right? oh, good. Okay, so it turns out that, that we start out another fight. So whatever whatever enemy what we're we're fighting against is uh, the name Canvas Soldier. Okay, well, at least we go for the, the Kevin's blocker. Okay, well, something just happened. Okay, but at least we did go for the lunch. Nicely done, team. Nicely done. Okay, but that's, that's good, okay? Because we did have some character go ahead and lock on with uh, lunch. Okay, I am not uh, seeing that... Um, well, technically, I don't quite actually see that the, that the lens is going to... To the properly lock on with the other uh, smash combo. All right, because each um each character have one chance to go and make a sudden move. Whatever tactic they perform, I mean, we, we watch and see this, this uh, full battle animation. So uh, I'm gonna go and power up with the uh, rain. I'll place the rain in this cycle over here. And wh what we got going on here? Okay, now this is getting cut quite reckless actually. Okay, so what what we're looking at here is um okay I can't even see okay so this is a, a cavalry blocker elite. All right, so now uh, we'll go use the other uh, vortex in case everybody needs AP. All right, and I think we did conquer some some of this enemy. All right, well let's keep placing the power in there. All right, good job whoever go for the lunch. Nicely done. Very spectacular. Okay, but it's been quite a while because we have not done collected enough uh, cylinders. Okay, now 
let's look at this map over here. So it's a seem like we're getting halfway close to to the Ether Spear. Close nearby. So the Ether Spear is somewhere around here. Was it yeah, I think we should go and shut place there. And also we were supposed to be heading to the Colony Omega. It's oh, if I'm saying it correctly, Omega. Or was it Omega? Okay, well it's the difference be between Omega or Amiga. Well, I'm not necessarily sure if I remember what the characters are talking about. Omega. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Omega. I, I can't say it right if I, if I don't want to. I mean... No way. I mean... It really is Colony Omega. Miyabi. Quite a rare sight. Yeah, because it's so... Memorable to the CB. This, um, this sadness of what whatever is going on in uh, Miyabi's eyes. Well, technically... It, it felt kind of emotional to see so Miyabi abandon Mio friendship. I mean, that is a, a sad tragedy there. So, how do we get to that Ifra Spear? I mean, like, is there a, another way down there? I mean, let's check and see. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Now, I really think we should go and fall and die. Let's just fall and die. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was pretty messed up. I don't technically see what's uh, going down, uh, coming down at the bottom. All right, well, you know what? Let's uh, get stupid in the lawn of collecting one of those those uh, collectibles on on the ground. And of course, uh, let's uh, continue through. And you know what? We'll, we'll just ignore these enemies. Now is not the time. I mean. They, they always target on us, every time. Alright, so I think we were supposed to go and move further along this trail. So, you know what, we can uh, put the, 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 the boss away, that you go and show the objective. Alright, and we'll keep on picking up these collectibles. Okay, but we did finish on picking up materials, and now we spot a witness because uh, we did encounter one of these uh, Agnes' soldiers. Well, that's, uh, there's uh, a lot more where that came from, so we, we're, we're gonna have to, to put some more effort to it. Because now, since we got the, the whole team a lot stronger, so it seems like that someone did level up. Okay, so it seems like that Ashura did level up to the city. So we're gonna need more defense, a little bit more, cause we're, we're gonna need extra extra support so that each character can go and build up more defense. And we'll go for the divine flurry if you wanted to. So I got the um the, the canvas blocker on the on the further far right. All right, and I'll go ahead and place that a power rank in case everybody want to go build up more attacks. All right, and I think that settled the score. So we did clear all the Cavus soldiers. Wait a sec. They're a mixed unit, but that's just not possible. Possible or not, it's what we've got to deal with right now. We'll just have to adapt. Unusual. They might be stretched thin. Huh? If it's like Neo said, and they've been running an experiment out of Omega, these soldiers are evidently one of the results. Kevis and Agnes. What kind of experiment could involve both of them? I don't know. But I do know the answer lies ahead. Okay, well, the answer we seek lies further beyond those uh, top mountains. Now, I want to see what else is going on around here. Because it's a scene like that we got to go and open some new areas around here. But the let's just continue on stooping along the paths. I mean, yeah, we, we did. So we're just going to have to take those uh, Agnes soldiers down. One by one. Okay, so we did go for another lunch. Good job. 
So we did lock on to the art combo too. That's um the, the tutorial I was uh, looking up while did the game loads. All right, because um, it's a sea like that. No one wanted to figure out how to go use smash, but uh, that's all right. Because we are getting pretty powerful and all. Okay, so this one is the Agnes Medic. All right, well let's go take out the Agnes Medic as a team here, and I'll go in. Okay, well I was gonna go for days because it was uh, late too soon. Okay, but we're getting pretty powerful and all, so the, the team is um is getting a whole lot stronger. Alright, because we, we've done so far so good of taking on each people's size quest and every and everything. I mean, that's um that's a whole lot of uh, homework that we, we just got done of uh, keeping along to the progress of uh, solving everybody's request. Alright, well we're, we're doing pre we're doing pretty okay. I mean, we're, we're halfway done of of killing all of these ethnic soldiers. Okay, wait a minute. So those are the Kavesi soldiers. Okay, well I don't see <laughs> I don't see surprisingly they're gonna be actually called Agnes soldiers. All right, so here we are now. So we're getting halfway close. We better give a proper welcome. Hey, this one means business. All right, so I'll go ahead and place a, a power ring right there. So now we're looking at here because there are a lot of these. These are Agnes soldiers. So one of them are Agnes's and one of her Kabethis. I mean, I, I just can't tell the difference about the both two related soldiers right now. So uh, let's just go ahead and put some some further effort to it. Now, which, whichever enemy I'm locking onto, so yeah, so this enemy on level 53. So let's go ahead and take that thing down. So I'll go ahead and focus more attack on this guy. Okay, so you know what? We can go use the, the uh, aura bars right now. Okay, so we'll go for dual flame. So we got the so we'll get that dual flame going. The shining halo. And you know what? I want to go and switch with uh, no one aura bars. Well, well, actually, no. We'll, we'll just keep playing with uh, with Neo for now. Okay, if I if I switch with uh, Noah, that I'm gonna go back to, back to playing with Noah. Okay, I had to keep on um, playing Mio as um, as uh, her hero quest because that's uh, one of Mio's side stories. Okay, so I need to go get the healing going. So if only with, but like uh, we get more break and top of going, that would be nice. Okay, so you need got my back. So I only got a little bit of HP. So let me just uh, get some some defense going on here because I need to defend myself from taking further attack. They've been reborn? No, if that was the case, wouldn't they be way younger? Mwamba looks like he did this term. Mwamba! It's me! Lands! You know me! Stop it! Mwamba! And now Kamaravi? What's going on? This melody... Why? Miyabi! It's me! Sena, your friend! We came to save you! You don't have to fight for him anymore! So stop and come along with us! Save thy breath. <gasps> the 
the revenants neither remember nor feel. Only the instinct to fight tooth and nail for survival. Normally, they would undergo basic conditioning in a cradle prior to being awoken, as you all once did. They would fight for ten years before returning to Her Majesty. What a piece of work. These younglings, they live for the sole purpose of battle. They are just as you are. You're full of it. Our memories and feelings, they define us. They dictate who we are. When you take all of that away... It is a phantasm. Fundamentally, memories and feelings are but tacked on extras and afterthought. Tacked on? Cut the crap! Oh, they are a sheep. You are simply deceiving yourselves, wishing to divine some meaning from something that is devoid of it. <sighs> Why are you doing this? What's your goal? Merely the betterment of life for Mobius. What? For such is Zed's humble desire. Zed! It is Zed who wove the fabric of this world. Consequently, we who are his avatars enjoy powers beyond mortal ken. Mobius or Zed's avatars? The gift I was imparted is the creation of flame clocks. Must I say more? I hold the life of every soldier in the very palm of my hand. <sighs> Indeed, the flame clocks. They are part of my very being. Ethel and Kamaravi's flame clocks. Those were some of my finest work. Did they not thrill you? The ebb and flow of their lives. Ah. <sighs> then did it strike me. Like unto a flame, human life also doth glow and glimmer brightest just before it is quenched. And hence, there can be no greater nourishment. Indeed. This flame clock is therefore my proudest creation. The final year when life is at its most dazzling. A clock that gives rise to a sublime instant. Tis a flame clock most radiant. Final year? So that's it. Muamba and Kamaravi, you brought them back close to their homecoming. Why? This is all kinds of screwed up. I've never met anyone I wanted to punch more. Yeah. Even for Mobius, he takes the biscuit. What is the matter? Proceed with the killing. Let your function be fulfilled and kill. And I shall raise you up as many times as needed with my flame clock ablaze. He's mad. Come. Come. Feast upon the brilliance of your lives here and on. Okay, and he's gone. So technically, he is um he looks like the um, final console of the game. Well, no idea who he is and where he came from, but he was um uh, he was helping Miyabi this whole time. Well, that was a bit of a spoiler there while we watched this, uh, this, this full long custody of what's going to happen. But basically, that's something that I could imagine because uh, Miyavi was uh, taking control as this, uh, his own, like, uh, he, he's like, he, she was uh, raised like a, a father to him uh, for, for, for that kind of occasion. I mean, turns out that uh, she doesn't want to, to come right out of her senses just to remember who she is. Like, uh, I mean, she can't wake up. So that does something that happened before that after because uh, she was um, produced by creating one of his uh, his 
It's a flame claw. That's what I'm looking at here. Okay, now that's how one of this uh, one of this uh, soldiers took took it taken out. Now what we're worried about here is the one that's called wait a, wait a minute who are you? Uh, the Gloisson Miyabi. Okay. So that is what we're worrying about here. So let's uh, take out Miyabi. Okay, so I yeah I I'm, I'm seeing we're halfway done because we don't have to go use chain attack a chain attack on defense. But if you want to team up, then that's alright. Okay, so let's get the power ring going. And we cannot forget to go use chin attack. I mean, that's something that we that we gotta that we gotta do. I mean, we, we want to make sure that we don't forget to go use chin attack. Alright, so we're just gonna have to wait until until each enemy take a low proportion of AP. And then we go ahead and fire up with one of the chain attacks. Seems simple. Okay, so we go with uh, Tombo and Lunch. Alright, so this... This uh, hack got nowhere to go. And we'll go ahead and fire up with one of the days. Alright, it's uh, days upon it. And you know what? So sure, right now, we can go ahead and fire up with the, the, ch the chain attack. All right, and we'll have Ashura go first. So Ashura is the one with the saber state. Oh, with the no, hold on, it's saber side. Okay. Now what we got going on here? Now we'll, we'll go try a tri slash. Okay, but it, it didn't take the the first blood by any chance. Okay, so we'll go get the sword strike, and it's still no first blood. Okay, so we got two healers and three defenders. So uh, I'm gonna go and crash out. Okay, and that gonna lead to 130%. All right, and we go ahead and watch this uh, full combat of action. All right, and we got it on back in action. So I'll have. Oh, shit, yeah, we'll have Noah go first because Noah only got 90% chance to go and bypass defense. Now, let's go and place a, a power ring right there. And for Uni, you can go for for spear point for us if you like. Go for it. Okay, so we need one more. So let's go for the ascension blade so it seems like Ashura is the one with the uh, with the lunch okay and Dan okay we got it on amazing that's very that's nice all right all right and we got it on, on overkill all right and we got it on reactivation so what else can we go for uh, now now, it seems like Santa is the one with the bombshell blitz, so let's go and have Santa go and, and join up her, her fun. And so we can get one of this uh, tri slash going. And I don't care, I mean, we could, we could use days. Alright, so that goal lead to 95%. And Len can go for the sword strike. And of course, uh, that goal is leave, leave it up to increase higher by 144 percentage points. So we go ahead and watch this uh, full battle of action. All right, so let's keep at it. So we'll have Mio go first. So Mio is the one with the lightning quick. So we'll go for spear point first. Yeah, so it's a stab to the back. Well, technically, he's uh, so it seems like me, like a hack is holding that shield and sword. I'm um, okay, I think that's it. So, that go and lead to a conclusion. So, just to take a look at how much experience points that we're gaining. So, we're gaining much of an experience point bonus. Um, okay, so it looked like we're ready to go and and power up with the aura balls. So me and Noah are going to transform into Ouroboros so that we go use Limit Unbound. 
Alright, well, let's keep at it. So, uh, you know what? I'll have... I'll have Lance go and use Air Slash this time. So that Golden Cancel be attacked. And we got it up to 146%. Alright, well, let's keep at it. Because uh, we want to go and increase our, our best uh, top total score. Let's see how much damage we, we chain attack it. Alright, so we go ahead and watch this uh, full battle animation here. So that go ahead and lead to our conclusion. So we get 11 million. Oh, Malamba, when did you get so strong? Kamaravi too. The last time we fought, he was in a Faronis. But he seems to be even more driven this time round. Sparks! Is this their fight or flight instinct? Poor Miyabi. They're strong, all right. But that's all they are. Huh? The melody Miyabi used to play? It wasn't like this. There's no way it was ever this sad. So then... Yeah. They're hollow. There's no will behind their actions. It's not our old friends that we're fighting here. It's something else. An astute observation, yes. It is so. Owing to the basic conditioning being lacking, their psyches are rather unstable. The melody you hear serves to prop them up. An offseer conveys peace to their cohorts. They enable them to realize dreams. That is what I focus my efforts on and iterated. That's wrong! You can't use the offseers! Au contraire, au contraire. Behold for thyself. The mental instability is assuaged, and their movements adhere to the base specifications. Certainly, there is no will behind it, but will is an undesired side effect. Evil! You can't do this! Not to me, Abby! Not to our off-seeing rights! How dare you use them to your own ends! <laughs> That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Mio! It's feelings! Feelings? It's the off melody we've been playing. We just need to play it again now. She's an off too. I know for sure it'll reach her. Of course, yeah. Our melody. Just like always. Yeah. Understood. I'm taking the lead. You follow. Noah, Mia, what are you? Wow. Good thinking, you two. Huh? I'm saying this might actually work. Come on, guys. Defend. Lance, Senna. All right. Sure thing.
What? Me happy? Hear me? It's me. Mio. Remember. That day, when you first explained to me the purpose of an offseer. Softly. That fateful day, when the lights of life danced into the sky. So high. Ever since that day, I've... I've done my best. To play that melody. You trusted me with. Me, Abby. You gave me newfound life back then. Now, let it be my turn. Mia. Help me. Just wait, Me, Abby. I'll be with you soon. to have all been scoured clean! Why? An Offseer's melody, it's more than a sequence of notes. It is shaped by feelings. Those of the player and of the ones being played for. All I did was shape the feeling Miyabi passed to me and play my heart out. Inconceivable. You were able to override Zed's precepts? No <laughs> Ouroboros should command that sort of power! The sword of the end. That's what's behind this reprehensible act. Well then, I shall just have to ascertain the matter. Oh, Spark! He's coming! Now he steps in. He's even chunkier than that K guy. That is a lot of chunk. No! Mia! Come on! Yeah? Take him down. Then we can free the colony. Since you both are no longer bound by the flame hooks, my mobile's power certainly holds no sway over you. Oh no! At this late hour, I will bring my mind, spirit, and flesh to bear, and batter you all into oblivion! Come! Come! Uh, alright you guys, <laughs> well I don't know what's going on here because uh, we, we, we can actually saw because of this uh, console did uh, transform into some ginormous scary looking titan of this uh, Mobius, I mean whatever we're looking at here may have felt kind of surprising. So this um, Zed character that we ran into may seem uh, a bit too scary to look at here because turned out that because we're looking at this uh, hideous looking monster that has some uh, flame clock in his uh, his waist. I mean, you can you can barely see it because uh, it's um it's a brand new design to look at it. But looking at much more closely. But you know what? I talk way too darn much about it. But we're gonna have to end things off right here. So next time on the Play Chronicles Free, we are gonna go and show down this um boss name. Okay, so we go and analyze. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, now as I was saying, I mean. This uh, Mobius we, um, that we talked on already, well, it technically, it, I just uh, talked way too soon because it was going to the trick of the, the battle. But um, it turns out that uh, we're going to have to take him down in the next series. So you guys don't go anywhere and you guys will be particular and stay tuned on the next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this series. So if you enjoyed the episode, if you want to see more of Zero Blade Chronicles free, be sure to leave an advertised like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit up that notification bell and stay tuned for, for everything. And uh, all, all of these are the description are filled down below. So if you'd like to help support the series, you can uh, do so review them step by step. You just help get you on started on supporting the, the channel and front the series. So that's going to be all it for Zero Blade Chronicles free. We'll be picking up more on the next one. So take care, guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.